What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I've ordered some aluminum ramps. I was talking to someone at the beach last week during spring break and they, they watched the videos and they said, hey, have you ever made a video of loading a golf cart in the back of a truck? And I said, no, I haven't. So it got me thinking. So I got on Amazon, I found these Croac uh, F1700 aluminum folding ramps here, 1700 pound rated capacity. They're like 179 bucks. I'll place a link to them in the video description so you know exactly which ones I've got. We're gonna open the box up, check them out. I went ahead and pulled a toolbox off of this truck and I'm gonna try to load my wife's golf cart in the back of this truck right here. All right, so I got both of them pulled out the box. I just got one here on the back of the tailgate. First thing I noticed, these are lightweight. So the welds look good. They're on both sides. Everything on here has been welded except your pivoting points right here you see you have the bolt there going through there and you have a nylon locking nut which is nice each ramp is rated for 850 pounds a piece and on the ramp itself it comes with the strap right in here so they just fold right out the way just like so and if you wanted to strap them down you have a little bit of velcro here you have a buckle here I'm just going to place the velcro through the buckle Reattach it to itself. Then these right here too are together now in one piece, so it's not gonna come open. Now on the end here, this is the piece right here that's gonna fit onto the tailgate. It's got some rubber covers on here. I'm not exactly sure if we can pull them off, and we can't. I mean, you may can pull them off, but they're very, they're sturdy, they're on there. Now each ramp comes with its own buckle. On the strap, one side is gonna be uh, flat and the other side is going to have a loop in it like that. That's sewn pretty well there. All right, got the ramp on the truck bed. And what I'm doing here is on the strap, one side has a loop, the other side doesn't. So I'm going to feed one side through here, I'll feed the other side through this right here, cavity here. When I'm doing that, I'll show you up here. We're going to feed the strap through the buckle like so now we're going to hook the strap here we're going to hook this right here hook to the same spot on your hitch that you would normally hook your trailer hook to but first we're going to open up this buckle here we're going to slide the strap through it so we come in here hook that take our strap pull it tight like so and now the ramp isn't going anywhere. It might move to the left or right a little bit, but it's not going front to back. All right, I got the truck here, got it sideways against my fence. Use the fence as a backdrop. Got the uh, aluminum ramps here, got them folded out. Got the buckles up there. Installing the buckles was easy. I'm gonna pull the golf cart out and line the golf cart up to the ramps to make sure we're good here. I think we're gonna have to spray some out just a little bit. Might as well do that on camera. Just kind of show you guys what it's gonna be like. So that's done there. Pull the strap back. <clears throat> strap is pulled back. Next problem is the ramps are not lined up. This right here ramp is too far to the ramp, or too far to the right. This left ramp here is too far to the right as well. So I'm gonna just uh, loosen them up just a little bit, move one over, tighten it back down. Do the same thing with this, loosen it up, tighten it back down. Because we want to make sure the ramps going into the bed of the truck is not going to hit either fender of the truck. See what I'm talking about here? Going in to the truck there. So this right here ramp looks to be to the left of that fender well just a little bit. This one's to the right of that one a little bit. So we should be good to go. Let's see exactly what we got. See if we can load this golf cart up here. There we 
there we go we are in the truck officially and uh, the ramps work fine I see where we are on the tailgate here I'm gonna get down bring you back up here a little bit as well I like that these pieces right here they're not round so they if you wanted to walk down them you could walk down them I like that about them there but golf carts in the truck ramps works really good So that looks pretty good. Golf cart fits great in there. If I need, ever needed to carry it somewhere, you can do it in a short bed Chevy truck. You can do so many things in a short bed Chevy truck, boys. Don't get me started. You can do all kinds of things. And these little short bed Chevy trucks will run too. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Especially that one. Golf course in there, pretty simple, looks like. Can't, you know, can't lift the tailgate up, no problem. The tires are actually on the bed, but there it is. Golf course in the bed of the truck. I think the next thing we need to do is take it out. Guys, <clears throat> I'm not gonna tell you how to strap it in, but I would use, I'd probably use my front hooks up here to strap the golf cart in place. If you want to use your, your rear ones, you could do those as well. But like I said, it's in here. Backing it out. We're just gonna go slow. I'm not even gonna ride the uh, the gas. I'm gonna just ride the brakes. Pretty simple. There it is. I tried to do that last take, kind of in a, like a one big take. All right, I would say these ramps are pretty strong enough for a golf cart. Now this golf cart has been converted to lithium, so it doesn't weigh as much as a regular golf cart with lead does. They fit fine in a short bed Chevy truck. These right here ramps, pretty stout here. There's a lot of welds on here. See every one of these right here, uh, ribs have been welded to the center and to the cross bracing there. We got some inside welds. We got some outside welds. It's the only port right here that's got a bolt and a nut on it. It's for the hinge. But these right here ramps did amazing. That's how we load a golf cart into a short bed Chevy truck. There's really nothing else to say there other than appreciate y'all watching. Until next time. We'll catch y'all later. I'll place the links to the ramps in the description below where you can see what I used in case you want to use the same ones or whatever. But appreciate it, guys. We'll see y'all on the next one.